Ah, ha, 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 my good friend, Mr. Celestine. Rita, how are you doing? How are you doing? Okay, Manuel, good afternoon, sir. McDonald, uh, this is what I love, my old favorite, huh? And oh, guys, I've got one for you today. I've got one for you today, guys. Yep, I certainly do have, I certainly do have. We will give everyone else just a minute or so to see who else is turning up for the daily catch up call. But yeah, I've got some, ah, oh, I've got some stuff for you today, guys. I've got some stuff for you today. So first and foremost, let's have a, a quick round robin. Who's fed their mind today? If I can't see you, if I can see you, give me a thumbs up. If I can't see you, give me a yes in the chat box. Who's fed their mind today? Give me a thumbs up if you've done that. Give me a uh, manual as usual. I've got a, a big yes in the chat box. Rita, McDonald, Phil, have you, uh, Phil's giving me a yes, that's it. McDonald, yep, Rita, have you guys fed your minds this morning? Not yet, well, as long as you do it, Rita, don't forget, as long as you do it, it's always a beautiful way to start the day, but I'm gonna energize you this morning. I'm gonna help you understand why it's so important that we do what we do. As I said, I'm gonna give everyone just a minute or so to roll in. Um, Cause you know I don't run for those who are late, I run for those who are on time, cause I appreciate your time. I know your time is valuable just like mine is. Guys, I'm gonna give them about another 30 seconds, just another 30 seconds because I've got some stuff to talk about today. It's gonna to be a real follow on from yesterday. Those of you that missed yesterday's, if you haven't watched the recording yet, I suggest you watch it. Yesterday was an important topic. Yesterday was about managing your state. Today's a continuation of that. So the first question I'm gonna ask is, why do we do what we do? In any given situation in life, why is it we do what we do? Why do we want more money? And this is gonna be kind of interactive today. Give me some answers in the chat box if you guys have got some insight into why we do what we do. So why do we want more money, guys? It's all gonna circle back and it's gonna make sense. I'm gonna join all the dots for you. But why is it that we want more money? Why do we want to own a business? Why do we want the relationships that we want? Okay, yeah, Phil, to help our fellow humans. That's a beautiful answer, okay. Has anyone else got any insight beyond that? Yeah, Manuel, to grow. Okay, okay. Rita, McDonald, have you guys got any insight? Um, we wrapped from our upbringing. Yeah, okay, beautiful, beautiful. So we're getting some interaction here. But I'm going to help you understand. And it's a whole lot simpler. The reason we do everything we do. If I question you enough, it will all come back to one thing because of the way it makes you feel. We don't want those little notes that we exchange for value. We don't want those little notes that allow us to, ah, oh, Audi, how are you doing, my friend? We don't want those little notes that allow us to, McDonald, good to see you, sir. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about why we do the things we do. We don't want a business. We don't want more money for the fact of being able to buy material things. We don't want a business for the fact of owning a business. Everything we do is all related back to how it makes us feel. Think about it. You might believe you need more money because you've got bills. And if you've got bills mounting up, how does that make you feel? It makes you feel stressful. And if you feel like you can't pay your bills, you start worrying. So it's all entangled in terms of how you feel. So the reason you want more money is to relieve your stress, is to stop your worry. So ultimately, the fact of having more money will help you feel better. You might want a business because you might want to contribute to life. As Manuel says, the business might help you feel like you're attaining a certain level of growth. Once again, it might be to add financial stability and security in your life. 
But listen to the words I'm using. When you feel secure, notice that, you feel secure. You feel like you have a sense of stability. You feel like you're contributing. You feel like you're growing. Everything we do circles back to how it makes us feel. When you're in a loving relationship with your partner and there's that spark, there's that energy between the two of you, you find that being around that person lights you up. It makes you feel wonderful. And when you feel great, you want to give more to that person because you want the other person to feel good. Everything in life, guys, relates simply back to the way we feel. Friendships. You will have certain friendships because certain friends are funny. They bring joy to your life. They make you laugh. They make you feel good. You'll have other friends because they are that stable person. They're that rock. They're that person you can talk to whenever you've got things going on in your mind. You can turn to them and they will be that, 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 that person of reason. That person who's always got a wise head on their shoulders. They allow you to feel more confident. They allow you to understand what's happening in the situation you're in. Because you know sometimes you can't see the wood for the trees and you need someone who's got an external perspective and they give you a different viewpoint. And what does it do? It helps you look at the situation differently. It helps you feel different. Everything we do. Why do people take drugs? People take drugs in some reason for escapism because they, they don't enjoy the life they're living. So they want to feel as though for whatever period of time they can lose themselves. They can feel different. They don't want to be reminded of how their day-to-day -day life makes them feel. So they take drugs because it's a very, very quick state change. People get addicted to, to substances like cocaine because it makes them feel different very, very quickly. Maybe the weekend comes and you feel like going out for a beer with your buddies. You go to the bar and you have a drink. You drink alcohol. Why do people drink alcohol? Because of how it makes you feel. Everything is a state change. Absolutely everything. No matter what we look at, it all comes down to how things make you feel. So as I said yesterday, in that case, guys, do you believe it's incredibly, incredibly important to manage your state? Of course it is. Because your state is how you feel. Now let's think about when you've been on a high, you've been on a roll, and it seems as though everything you touch, you knock it out of the park. Everything you do, you do it incredibly. <clears throat> it's not because all of a sudden your ability changed. It's because of how you're feeling at that moment in time. If you're in sales, for example, or in any business where it's based on communication. When you feel better, you produce a better result. Because do you not notice that good feeling is infectious? Okay, let me, let me ask you guys something. Why do you guys come on this call each and every day? Why? Give me some answers in the chat box. Give me some answers in the chat box as to why you come on this call. What is it you get from this call that keeps you here, giving me your time? Phil, you get up in the middle, middle of the night for yourself because basically you work nights. Okay, beautiful, to be uplifted. So once again, it's how it makes you feel. And I know right about now, Phil, you should be sleeping. But you wake up and you come on the call for a reason. Everyone else, please, I, I need some insight. I just, I'm interested to get another opening of mind. Beautiful, Manuel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, that's beautiful. Rita, Audie, McDonald, would you care to give me an insight? Let me kind of get into your world, understand why you give me your time. Because this is an investment from yourselves. You guys are giving me your time. You don't have to give me your time. And I appreciate that. But so far, all of the comments I've got all relate back to feeling. They all relate back to feeling. <laughs> Audie, I know you're coming, I know you're coming. 
Everything relates back to feeling because we do what we do because of how it makes us feel. So managing our state has to be of critical importance to us. But you know, guys, as I said, there are two ways in which you can manage your state. You can manage your state through your physiology. Because if you, those, those guys who listen to Tony Robbins, you'll hear Tony Robbins, he says it all the time. Emotion is created through motion. So that's the quickest and easiest way to change your, your state. If you're not feeling great, if you're feeling low, someone who's feeling low will generally, and I will generalize in this instance, someone who's feeling low will generally exhibit certain physical traits, slumped shoulders, head down, eyes down, shallow breathing, change that state, energize yourself really quickly, move quickly, some excited movements, and it will change how you feel. And the other way to manage your state is to change what you're focused on, change what you're thinking about. By doing those things, you will immediately change your state. And guys, do you think that those are better and more controlled ways than going to drugs or alcohol? Of course they are, because you're not affecting your biochemistry with a, a, an external influence. You're changing and managing your state yourself. So everything in life, everything we do, is based on how it makes us feel. So let me bring this back to business for you. When you are thinking about setting up a business, there are gonna to be tough times. And the easiest way to manage your state is to understand why you're doing what you're doing. Because when you bring everything back to your why, that will give you the strength and the focus to manage your state. Because you're thinking, I'm doing this because I wanna change my life. Why do I want to change my life for X, Y, and Z reasons? If your why is big enough and your why is strong enough, that is then going to help you say, okay, well, if I manage my state, if I feel good, I'll perform better. So that is a reason why I should ensure that I feel good with everything I do. As I said, it goes back to when you're on a roll. When things in your life seem to just be moving in sequence, it's not because all of a sudden you're more gifted. It's not because all of a sudden you've got more talent. If you think back to those scenarios, I can almost guarantee that in every one of those scenarios it was simply because you were feeling great. And because you were feeling great, that influenced your external output and by changing your external output, you were able to achieve your objective and able to achieve your overall outcome. You were able to achieve what you were trying, what you set out to achieve. Give me a thumbs up if this makes sense, guys. Give me some yeses in the chat box if this really makes sense. Thank you, guys. Yeah, if this makes sense, yeah, I'd like to hear that. Absolutely, Manuel. This happens when you're driven by passion. And what is passion? Passion is a very, very strong feeling. Okay, so why, why, why? Sometimes you don't know why. Everything, Rita, everything you do is based on how you feel. So instead of why, ask yourself how you feel at any given time. That's the question you want to ask yourself. How am I feeling? When you're not producing the result you want to, you, you're aiming to produce, when you're not able to achieve your outcome, focus your attention on how do I feel. And if you're not feeling good because you're not achieving the outcome, so it almost feel, feels like a never-ending circle, interrupt your pattern. Interrupt your pattern by changing how you feel. When you change how you feel, you will change your outcome. 
because they are intrinsically connected. They are intertwined. The two go together. Your feelings and your outcome go exactly together. If you look at, for example, uh, professional sports people, in a lot of instances, they get themselves in a peak state before they take on whatever task, whatever challenge, whatever sport they do. I'm not much of a, an American football fan. I'm more of a soccer fan, but American football, I've seen it before. They grab each other's helmets and butt each other's helmets and go a little bit crazy, right? They hype each other up. Why do you think they do that? They do that because they want to create that state, that peak state where they're energized, where they're at a, a 15 out of 10, a 20 out of 10, so they perform to their best abilities. Boxers, when they're on their ring walk, they have certain music playing and they're kind of feeling that bravado is really high because they want to get themselves in peak state. They're about to go to war. They're specialists of pugilist. Boxing is one of the most, in my opinions, one of the toughest, toughest sports you could ever do. Because you're in that ring by yourself and you're the only one who can produce that result. So they have to light themselves up. Okay. Rita, you say you feel you're being tested all the time. Ask me one question, Rita. Does that feel good? Because just from your statement, I can tell you how it feels. Be honest with me. Answer me one question. Okay, so it doesn't feel good. If it doesn't feel good, Rita, you are responsible for how you feel. Your feelings don't happen to you. Your feelings happen through you. So manage your state, Rita. Get into that space where you control how you feel. This is why I talk about at the beginning of your day, nourish your mind. Start your day in the right way. From the night before, plan what you want to achieve the next day. Have a clear plan, a clear focus, a clear directive of what you want to get from the following day. It's your responsibility to yourself to change your state, to manage your state. Because ultimately, no one can do that for you. You're the only one who can make yourself feel a certain way. So if you feel like you're being tested, that is allowing the external influences to control how you feel. Okay, making a list is a great thing. Do you achieve what's on your list? That's the question I'd ask you. If you do, fantastic. Because celebrate your small victories. Fantastic. Well, in that case, when you're achieving what's on your list, celebrate every, every single time you tick something off your list, celebrate it. Celebrating your small victories will make you feel good. And as you're feeling good, you will achieve more things to make you feel good. You have to be in control. You have to take complete ownership for how you feel. If nothing else, own how you feel. Take full responsibility for how you feel. Manage your state at all times. This is why I said, as I said yesterday, this is why people exercise. People exercise because of the chemical release in your body. It changes your biochemistry. You have to understand that everything, every feeling is attached to your nervous system. Every single feeling is attached to your nervous system. So by impacting your biochemistry, by changing your physiology, by changing what you're focused on, by doing things that interrupt your chemistry, you control how you feel. Guys, you know, this, what I was thinking about, maybe 10 or 15 minutes before I started talking to them, when I was thinking about why do we do certain things, it took me back to the time when I was in hospital. It took me back to what I originally went through. And yes, I went through certain thought processes. But I didn't actually realise that all I was doing consistently was managing my state. When I was in that feeling of elation, guys, it's the weirdest feeling, weirdest feeling. Imagine I'm lying in bed, I'm still completely paralysed from the waist down, 
I've got no feeling in my hands. Um, I think maybe a day or so after I was in the hospital, my hand became hypersensitive. And it was almost as though anything that touched my hands, it was almost as though I'd get stabbed with a thousand needles. Even when the sheets brushed across my hands, it was intense pain. Even going through all of that, I chose that I have a responsibility to feel good here. I have a responsibility to choose how I'm going to respond to everything that's going on. And maybe I went internally and I went into a philosophical state of mind. I said, I know I've been very stubborn and I know I've missed signals throughout my life. Maybe God or the universe is testing me. And I, I gave myself a message that God or the universe have said, Kevin, you're very stubborn. But if you pay attention and if you listen to the genius inside, we will help you get through this. So I stopped and I listened. And the messages I got consistently on a daily basis were, this has happened for a reason. Feel good and embrace it. Guys, imagine I'm in hospital and I'm in this state. And each and every day, after the first couple of days, each and every day, I used to get a steady flow of nurses in my room every single day. And I used to just sit down and talk to them and I'd be smiling and happy. And sometimes the nurses would stay with me for 10, 15 minutes and I know that they weren't supposed to be staying that long because they are run off their feet consistently. But yet they would always come and see me. And guys, after three weeks, two nurses came into my room laughing and giggling. And I said, come on ladies, you can't come into my room laughing and giggling and don't share the joke. And one said to me, have you noticed you get a lot of nurses in the room on a daily basis? And um, it's almost though I had a devil and an angel on, on each shoulder. And the angel said, yes, because you guys do a great job. And the devil said, no, it's because I'm suave and sophisticated and love my company. <laughs> anyway, they said to me, um, the reason you get a steady flow of nurses in your room each and every day, we've had a conversation amongst ourselves and we've classified you as an enigma. You are a strange patient because we see people in extreme condition because of the ward we're on. We're on a neurosurgical ward. But rarely do we see people who respond like you. And the reason why you get a steady stream of nurses in your room each and every day is because if we're not feeling good, if we're feeling down or stressed about our day, we come and talk to you. And the messages you give off, the, the language you speak, the way you are dealing with your injury, the way you've chosen to respond, that actually makes us stop and look at life and realize how blessed we all are. You make us feel good. And imagine guys, at that point, I was still overcoming paralysis and the nurses who were looking after me were telling me that I was making them feel good because of my attitude. Guys, all I was doing was managing my state, but I didn't even realize it. It's only on further analysis, years later, all I was doing was managing my state. I was taking every day, one day at a time, and I was choosing each and every day to wake up and feel blessed. I was choosing each and every day to wake up and take control of how I felt because you know what? I had committed to myself that I was going to get better. And I knew in order to make improvement, I had to feel good. Everything in life, guys, revolves around how you feel. You know, for the first few weeks when I was in the hospital, my family, my closest family members who have known me all my life, they thought I was in denial. Because they didn't, they knew I was strong because of how I've dealt with things anyway. But they couldn't imagine that going through such a catastrophe, I was going to respond the way I did. Guys, if you'd have asked me beforehand, if you give me this situation that I went through now, and you tell me how I responded, I'd probably say, nah, I couldn't do that. Surely I would have responded differently. But the great Bob Marley said, you never know how strong you are until strong is your only option. We all have choices, guys. We all have choices. We choose how we respond. We manage our state. And if I leave with nothing else today, understand that everything in life all revolves around how you feel. Every single thing you do, you do for a feeling. Everything you do, you do for a feeling. 
Allow that to sink in. Allow that message to just marinate in your minds. Guys, these days I have a call straight after, so you probably noticed in the last few days my calls cut short by a few minutes. Um, guys, I love spending this time with you. I'm so thankful. I appreciate you being here. I'm hoping that... Um, no, I'm not hoping, because hoping is not a strategy. I am certain that I'm giving you value, but I can only be certain of that based on your responses. So give me a thumbs up if you're getting value, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Give me some yeses in the chat box if you're getting value from what you're hearing, value from what you're receiving. Because guys, you know what? I do this for you guys. Don't get me wrong, I get a lot out of it as well. But I do it for you guys. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you each and every day. I want you to understand that all can and will be achieved one step at a time. Understand, it's quite simple. I am committed to you. How committed are you to yourselves? Because if you're committed, guess what? I'll be here on this same bad channel tomorrow. Guys, make today a winner. Go out, enjoy yourself, smile. And remember, you're blessed. All can and will be achieved one step at a time. Thank you, guys. Have an incredible day. Bye-bye.